Yttrium barium copper oxide YBCO is a family of crystalline chemical compounds, famous for displaying high temperature superconductivity. It includes the first material ever discovered to become superconducting above the boiling point of liquid nitrogen 77K at about 90K. Many YBCO compounds have the general formula YBA2-X also known as Y123, although materials with other Y, Ba, Cu ratios exist, such as YBA2-Cu4-OI or Y2-Ba4-Cu7-OI History In April 1986, Georg Bednors and Karl Müller, working at IBM in Zurich, discovered that certain semiconducting oxides became superconducting at relatively high temperature, in particular, a lanthanum barium copper oxide becomes superconducting at 35K. This oxide was an oxygen-deficient perovskite related material that proved promising and stimulated the search for related compounds with higher superconducting transition temperatures. In 1987, Bednors and Muller were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for this work. Following Bednors and Muller's work, in 1987 Ma Kuen Wu and Chu Ching Wu and their graduate students Ashburn and Torn at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, discovered that YBCO has a critical temperature TC of 93 K. The first samples were Y1.2 Ba 0.8 Copper 8 Oxide, but this was an average composition for two phases, a black and a green one. To identify the phases, Chu turned to Dave Mao and Robert Hazen at the Geophysical Laboratory in the Carnegie Institution of Washington. They found that the black one, which turned out to be the superconductor, had the composition YBA2 minus delta. The article reporting this material led to rapid discovery of several new high-temperature superconducting materials, ushering in a new era in material science and chemistry. YBCO was the first material found to become superconducting above 77 K, the boiling point of liquid nitrogen. All materials developed before 1986 became superconducting only at temperatures near the boiling points of liquid helium 4.2 K or liquid hydrogen 20.28 K the highest being NB3J at 23K. The significance of the discovery of YBCO is the much lower cost of the refrigerant used to cool the material to below the critical temperature. Synthesis Relatively pure YBCO was first synthesized by heating a mixture of the metal carbonates at temperatures between 1000 and 1300K. 4 barium carbonate plus yttrium carbonate plus 6 copper 2 carbonate plus 1 half minus x O2 2 YBA2 minus x plus 13 CO2 Modern syntheses of YBCO use the corresponding oxides and nitrates. The superconducting properties of YBA2 minus x are sensitive to the value of x, its oxygen content. Only those materials with 0x0.65 are superconducting below Tc, and when x approximately 0.7, the material superconducts at the highest temperature of 95K, or in highest magnetic fields, 120T for B perpendicular and 250T for B parallel to the copper 4 oxide planes. In addition to being sensitive to the stoichiometry of oxygen, the properties of YBCO are influenced by the crystallization methods used. Care must be taken to sinter YBCO. YBCO is a crystalline material, and the best superconductive properties are obtained when crystal grain boundaries are aligned by careful control of annealing and quenching temperature rates. Numerous other methods to synthesize YBCO have developed since its discovery by Wu and his co-workers, such as chemical vapor deposition CVD, sol gel, and aerosol methods. These alternative methods, however, still require careful sintering to produce a quality product. However, new possibilities have been opened since the discovery that trifluoroacetic acid TFA, a source of fluorine, prevents the formation of the undesired barium carbonate, barium carbonate. Routes such as CSD chemical solution deposition have opened a wide range of possibilities, particularly in the preparation of long YBCO tapes. This route lowers the temperature necessary to get the correct phase to around 700 degrees Celsius. This, and the lack of dependence on vacuum, makes this method a very promising way to get scalable YBCO tapes. 
structure YBCO crystallizes in a defect perovskite structure consisting of layers. The boundary of each layer is defined by planes of square planar copper 8 oxide units sharing four vertices. The planes can sometimes be slightly puckered. Perpendicular to these copper 4 oxide planes are copper 8 oxide ribbons sharing two vertices. The yttrium atoms are found between the copper 4 oxide planes, while the barium atoms are found between the copper 8 oxide ribbons and the copper 4 oxide planes. This structural feature is illustrated in the figure to the right. More details Although YBA2 is a well-defined chemical compound with a specific structure and stoichiometry, materials with fewer than 7 oxygen atoms per formula unit are non-stoichiometric compounds. The structure of these materials depends on the oxygen content. This non-stoichiometry is denoted by the X in the chemical formula YBA2-X. When X1, the O sites in the Cu layer are vacant and the structure is tetragonal. The tetragonal form of YBCO is insulating and does not superconduct. Increasing the oxygen content slightly causes more of the O sites to become occupied. For Bi 3.82, B 3.89, and C 11.68A, optimum superconducting properties occur when X approximately 0.07, i.e., almost all of the O sites are occupied, with few vacancies. In experiments where other elements are substituted on the Cu and Ba sites, evidence has shown that conduction occurs in the Cu O planes while the Cu O chains act as charge reservoirs, which provide carriers to the Cu O planes. However, this model fails to address superconductivity in the homologue PR 123 praseodymium instead of yttrium. This conduction in the copper planes confines conductivity to the AB planes and a large anisotropy in transport properties is observed. Along the C-axis, normal conductivity is 10 times smaller than in the AB plane. For other cuprates in the same general class, the anisotropy is even greater and interplane transport is highly restricted. Furthermore, the superconducting length scales show similar anisotropy in both penetration depth, lambda ab approximately equals 150 nanometers, lambda c approximately equals 800 nanometers, and coherence length, she ab approximately equals 2 nanometers, she c approximately equals 0.4 nanometers. Although the coherence length in the AB plane is five times greater than that along the C-axis it is quite small compared to classic superconductors such as niobium where she approximately equals 40 nanometers. This modest coherence length means that the superconducting state is more susceptible to local disruptions from interfaces or defects on the order of a single unit cell, such as the boundary between twinned crystal domains. This sensitivity to small defects complicates fabricating devices with YBCO, and the material is also sensitive to degradation from humidity. Proposed applications Many possible applications of this and related high-temperature superconducting materials have been discussed. For example, superconducting materials are finding use as magnets in magnetic resonance imaging, magnetic levitation, and Josephson junctions. The most used material for power cables and magnets is BSCCO. YBCO has yet to be used in many applications involving superconductors for two primary reasons. First, although single crystals of YBCO have a very high critical current density, polycrystals have a very low critical current density, only a small current can be passed while maintaining superconductivity. This problem is due to crystal grain boundaries in the material. When the grain boundary angle is greater than about 5 degrees, the supercurrent cannot cross the boundary. The grain boundary problem can be controlled to some extent by preparing thin films via CVD or by texturing the material to align the grain boundaries. A second problem limiting the use of this material in technological applications is associated with processing of the material. Oxide materials such as this are brittle, and forming them into superconducting wires by any conventional process does not produce a useful superconductor. Unlike BSCCO, the powder in tube process does not give good results with YBCO. Cooling materials to liquid nitrogen temperature 77K is often not practical on a large scale, although many commercial magnets are routinely cooled to liquid helium temperatures. 4.2K. The most promising method developed to utilize this material involves deposition of YBCO on flexible metal tapes coated with buffering metal oxides. This is known as coated conductor. 
Texture crystal plane alignment can be introduced into the metal tape itself the Rabbit's process or a textured ceramic buffer layer can be deposited, with the aid of an ion beam, on an untextured alloy substrate the IBAD process. Subsequent oxide layers prevent diffusion of the metal from the tape into the superconductor while transferring the template for texturing the superconducting layer. Novel variants on CVD, PVD, and solution deposition techniques are used to produce long lengths of the final YBCO layer at high rates. Companies pursuing these processes include American Superconductor, Superpower, a division of Furukawa Electric, Sumitomo, Fujikura, Nexon Superconductors, Commonwealth Fusion Systems, and European Advanced Superconductors. A much larger number of research institutes have also produced YBCO tape by these methods. The superconducting tape may be the key to a tokamak fusion reactor design that can achieve breakeven energy production. YBCO is often categorized as a rare earth barium copper oxide Rebco. Surface modification Surface modification of materials has often led to new and improved properties. Corrosion inhibition, polymer adhesion and nucleation, preparation of organic superconductor, insulator, high TC superconductor trilayer structures, and the fabrication of metal, insulator, superconductor tunnel junctions have been developed using surface modified YBCO. These molecular layered materials are synthesized using cyclic voltometry. Thus far, YBCO layered with alkylamines, aerolamines, and thiols have been produced with varying stability of the molecular layer. It has been proposed that amines act as Lewis bases and bind to Lewis acidic Cu surface sites in YBA2 to form stable coordination bonds. Hobbyist use Shortly after it was discovered, the UK. Journal New Scientist published the recipe. For synthesizing YBCO by Heidi Grant, daughter of author Paul Grant, and herself a high school student at the time of publication with tools and equipment available in a high school science laboratory of the time in their edition of 30 July 1987. Thanks to this and other publications at the time, YBCO is a popular high-temperature superconductor for use by hobbyists and in education, as the magnetic levitation effect can be easily demonstrated utilizing liquid nitrogen as coolant. References External links Diagram of YBCO structure New world record for superconducting magnet 26.8 T April 2007 External MSDS data sheet safety classifications for YBCO Superconductivity in everyday life interactive exhibition little if any specific to YBCO